Hello, everybody. <clears throat> it is Monday, June 15th. Wow, month is half over. I wanted to remind everybody that at the beginning of the year, I put out a challenge to take your picture every month. Have you been doing that? I haven't. I think I did it the first two months, and then I kind of forgot about it. <clears throat> and anyway, at some point before the end of the year, take your picture a couple times. So that at the end of the year, you can have a photo journal of how you did on your weight loss journey. So um, it doesn't. I guess it doesn't have to be every month. Every couple months be fine. Like I think the last full-length picture I took of myself, <coughs> excuse me, was in March. So beginning of July, I'm going to do another one. Sometimes when we haven't lost weight, we've lost inches. And that shows up in your pictures, too. So... Today, I have been looking at my menu for the week, and I've been revising it because some of the things I have on there I don't have in my pantry or my refrigerator. Um, I'm planning on going to the grocery store later this week, but not till Wednesday or Thursday. So I, I've had to, I'm revising what I am uh, having and realize I'm becoming very bored with the food that I've been preparing. Not because it's not good, because it is good. It's just it's like the same old, same old. I'm kind of getting into a rut. So I need to start adding some more variety. Like um, I'm thinking tonight about maybe adding some pasta. I'm having, ch um, well, maybe not tonight, but tomorrow um, when I have chicken, that um, maybe I'll add some pasta with it. Tonight I'm having a hamburger patty. I'm going to add some uh, baked chips with it. But... Uh, it's like I'm starting to get real bored with what I'm eating. So one of two things is happening. I'm either eating a lot, I, I'm starting to eat crap again, or I'm not eating. Neither one of is good. So I want to keep my menus interesting so that I look forward to preparing the food and forward look forward to eat it. Like what I had for dinner last night, I was really, really excited about because it was an omelet, but... <laughs> It was a really nice omelet with, with asparagus and mushrooms and onions and stuff. I posted a picture on my Facebook page um, of what I had yesterday to eat. Now, the weekend um, overall was a successful weekend for me, um, and I did have pizza on Saturday. Um, my son came over Saturday afternoon, and he was here most of the day, and so we, just, we ordered a pizza. We shared it, and I tracked every slice of pizza that I had. I even had a couple pieces of cheesy bread that I tracked. So, um, and, and I had two chicken wings with it too, but I tracked it all. Yes, I went over points. I didn't go over points a lot cause he, I hadn't eaten since breakfast, but the point is, um, I tracked it all. I took the hit on my weeklies and I'm okay with that. You know, I moved on my scales down again this morning a little bit. So, um, I guess that's, a good lesson that yes I can have uh, my favorite food which is pizza and still stay on track now when he left there was still about four pieces of pizza left three or four pieces and almost a whole half a thing order of uh, cheesy bread and he started walking out the door I said uh -uh, take that with you <laughs> he goes mom you can have it and I said no 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 you you take it you eat it because I will sit here tonight and eat that entire thing if it's here so I forced him to take it, and uh, that worked out well because I did get hungry a little bit later, so I just fixed a big salad with zero points, you know. So like I said, the weekend for me was pretty successful. Yesterday I stayed on plan the entire day, had no problem. Of course, I was here alone all day. Well, one of my sons did step over yesterday, but my oldest boy did. But we weren't eating or anything. He just stepped over to visit. So anyway... And then today so far, it's been a good day. It's I've, I've only had breakfast. It's like 1 o'clock in the afternoon, but I didn't eat breakfast till an hour ago. And I, I do have the day planned out, even though eh, I might... I have dinner planned out anyway. I might switch out my lunch a little bit. So the thing is, I'm getting tired of chicken. I have a lot of chicken here. I've canned a lot of chicken. I have chicken in my freezer. And I like chicken. I just have to be more inventive in how I'm fixing it to keep me interested in it, you know. So that's pretty much my day today. I, I'm just doing things around. I'm trying to get motivated. I got to clean my kitchen floor. 
because it's really driving me crazy. So I'm going to sweep and mop my kitchen floor today. I have to change out the litter box and get that because that's starting to stink up a little bit. Oh, I forgot to bring that up too. I got to go down and get the kitty litter out of the car. Um, just doing some organization about here. I'm going to try to finish that quilt top that I started last fall because fall will be here before you know it. And it's so cool outside right now. It feels like it's fall. I have a sweatshirt on. I've worn a sweatshirt all weekend long. Now, I guess by the end of this week, it's supposed to be in the 90s again. But um, I may go ahead and finish. I All I have to do for that quilt top is put the border on it. I have to sew the border together, then attach it to the quilt top. Um, and I'll have the top done, and then I can add the backing and the batting to it uh, a little bit later. But uh, I might do that today because I found a pattern for another quilt that I want to make. And I, I was going to go back and start it the other day. I thought, no, I'm going to finish that fall quilt first because I have a lot of whips back there. Whips, WIPs, works in progress, um, that I want to start clearing out before I start something new. So, Mr. Harvey here needs to go on a diet too. Look at that, 17 pounds of fluff. But he's so cute. Yeah, you're so cute. So, yeah, when he jumps on you, you know it. He's real fickle. I gotta tell you, this he's bipolar, I know he is, because he is very sweet sometimes. Like now he's sitting here really sweet. And then every then he'll get a, a little snooty and he'll just go, ah, bite my arm. So I don't know if he gets mad when I stop petting him or he gets mad because I've been petting him so so much. But he is kind of bipolar. But when he's sweet like this, he's so sweet. So anyway, I had, I've been around the pond once today, yesterday. Boy, I tell you, I haven't gotten very many steps in it all the last few days. Um, I'll get a little bit more in today just because I'm going to be cleaning and running the vacuum and stuff like that. But not working at Walmart has really taken my step level way, way down, which, you know, I don't mind. I'm still losing weight. Um, I don't mind, and I've been enjoying the rest. So... And when it's, you know, I was thinking about today, maybe going for a little walk out at the, down at the trail, but, um, it's so cool out when, even when I was just walk Molly around the pond, I got cold. So, and after just getting over that, uh, yuck that I had a few weeks ago, I don't want to get sick again. So I'm just going to lay low for a while. I have not been into Walmart since that day they sent me home. And then I got sick after that. So, and I probably won't be back into Walmart for quite a while. Anyway, anyway, like I said, that's pretty much my day today. Uh, I've got some stuff I want to do in the kitchen. I think I'm going to clean up my refrigerator, although it's pretty well cleaned out. But um, I know there's some things in there that probably need to go. And I like to do it on Monday because the garbage comes on Tuesdays. That's why I change the litter box on Mondays. So... I am going to need to run and get some more garbage bags and just pick a couple other small things up. But uh, nothing nothing big. I have to drop something over at my son's place a little bit. And I'm probably going to drive through the cemetery just to see if they've started anything over there. Tomorrow I'm paying off the headstone installers. So I will be finished with everything at the cemetery except for being there you know, when they get installed. So, but financially, I'll be finished after tomorrow. So, yay. <laughs> yay. And that's another thing I did this morning. I went through my my finance book and, and on my spreadsheet and everything. And uh, I'll be, by the end of the month, I'll be in pretty good shape. So, I'm feeling a little bit relieved that way. Um, oh, I'm going to Idaho. My son is, my youngest boy is moving to Oklahoma in September. But uh, he can't take the one dog with him. So my daughter's going to take the dog that was really my husband's dog. Um, I would love to have him, but I just, I can't have another animal here. Um, so she's going to take him. So we're going to take the dog out to her. And uh, so I'm going to be traveling across country again. Except for this time I'll be with my son and two dogs because both the labs are going to be in the car with us. And then I'll drive from um, Idaho down to Oklahoma with him. And I'll stay down there for a couple days and then come home. So I'm really excited. Now, it's not till September, but uh, I'm excited about seeing the kids again. And 
Uh, I saw Emily when she was here last fall around Thanksgiving, and I haven't seen her since. And then Evan was here in February, so I'll get to see him and hopefully Mackenzie, but um, she'll be in med school by the time I get down there, so I'm not sure I'm going to get to see her. But anyway, uh, so I'm excited. I'm going on a road trip, and I don't have to drive by myself this time. So, uh, but like I said, it'll be September. So in the back of my mind, I'm thinking meal prepping already for the trip so that I don't uh, go off the rails while I'm driving. And I, knowing my youngest son, he's just going to want to do fast food stuff. So I might be on a Weight Watchers fast food journey. And I know there's places I can go, like Jimmy John's and Subway, where I can eat relatively healthy. And, I mean, I can even do a McDonald's every now and again. But um, the last time I drove out there, I gained four pounds in three days. And I don't want that to happen again. So right now, I'm, I'm thinking about that. I'm starting gathering all that together. I'm gathering, you know, I've got some money saved up for travel, so that's good. Um, and food is included in that, what I have saved up. So anyway, as I tell you, I'm looking forward to a road trip this fall. Uh, my oldest boy here is going to watch Molly and Harvey for me. So I, that's what we talked about yesterday. So anyway, uh, well, it's 11 minutes. I haven't shown you anything yet. So let me show you my food for the day. And then I'll be back to um, wrap that. Look at this, how this thing is just, it's just so big on my finger now. I'm going to have to either take it off for a while or, you know, I think that's probably what I'm going to do is take it off for a while till I get down to my goal weight and then get it resized because it's getting to the point where I'm afraid it's going to slip off. So anyway, um, I'll be back to show you my food. Or let me show you my food now, and then I'll be back to wrap things up at the end of the day and let you know how I did. All right, my breakfast this morning on this Monday is um, one egg and two egg whites for two points. I just got some mushrooms and onions mixed in with that. Uh, I trimmed my light English muffin to 54 grams, so that is two points. Um, five grams of butter for another two points. And, of course, my banana is 91 grams. That's zero points. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There's two in my coffee. So eight points for breakfast this morning. All right, so I'm having a hamburger for dinner tonight, and I didn't have any buns, and I kind of wanted one, so I made my own. This is the two ingredient bread, um, two ingredient dough recipe. And I just did like a quarter of it. That's one side, this is the other side. So um, I mean, it's not it's not real thick or anything, but it's just like one of those sandwich things, I think. But I decided I'm gonna have this with my hamburger tonight. I uh, made my own little bun. So I used a quarter cup of uh, fat-free Greek yogurt and a quarter cup of flour. I added a little um, baking powder to it so it is a little fluffier. And I just rolled that out, uh, cut it in half and rolled each side. Baked it for three at 350 for eh, about 20 minutes. Well, we'll see in a minute how it tastes. Okay, this is what my burger looks like when it's all put together. I've got the beef there that weighed out at seven points, um, two and seven eighths ounces. It's ground chuck. Uh, I've got some grilled onion on there and some grilled mushrooms on there, it's mustard and ketchup. So, I mean, it's pointy. Three for this, seven, ketchup is one, mustard is zero. So, 11 point, 11 point burger, and I've got potato chips that aren't quite done cooking yet. That will probably be one or two points. So, I mean, I have the points. I'm having this early dinner, so I'm going to have a, my like my lunch later. So, let's see how this tastes. Hang on. All right, we're going to see how this tastes. It smells delicious. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Definitely a keeper. So I added my potatoes. They pointed out at one point. This is just homemade potato chips. They're so nice and crispy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, they're so good. If you have not ever made your own potato chips, you need to do this. So, one, two, three, seven, so it's 10, 11 on my burger, one in my potatoes, so that's uh, 12 points. 12 points for dinner. I still have plenty left. Um, I think this takes me, um, I have 10 points left for the day. But this is so good. Well, this is my dessert today. I've got um, some strawberries and a banana for zero points. I've got a cup, oh, about a quarter cup of my homemade uh, Greek yogurt, which points out at zero. I topped it with a tablespoon of my homemade grape jelly. That's three points. So I have a three point dessert. All right, just a quick wrap up here. I ended the day with 23 points because I had that, that three point dessert. So I have seven on the table. So four of them roll over for tomorrow. And I'm already making up those uh, weeklies that I used up on Saturday. Boy, this hair just, I really need a haircut. <laughs> anyway, I did some mop my kitchen floor tonight. And uh, I went over to my son's tonight to so he could put the seats back, the third row of seats back in my car for me. Um, and uh, stopped and visited with my sister for a little bit. And I'm home, and now I'm getting ready to go to bed. So meeting a friend for lunch tomorrow, so that'll be interesting. I'll have to look at the menu because we're going to a, a local restaurant. The first time I'll be back in a restaurant since this whole COVID thing started. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Uh, like I said, I ended with 23 points. I had a great day on plan. Uh, I haven't done my steps yet. I, I didn't get any lot. I went, was around the pond maybe two or three times, and that was it. So I didn't get a lot of steps in today. But... Oh, well. We'll see what the scale says tomorrow. I'll talk to you tomorrow with another What I Ate. Bye-bye.